Hello and welcome to Snow Runner Console Mods and we've just had a new mod dropped today which is the DCB USK900 which is made by Deathcore Boy now he showed he let me use get on this uh, what was it last week and I already did a quick look before it been released and I was blown away by it then I've done an absolutely amazing job now since seeing it on console as it's just come arrived console today and it's also out for PC and wow fantastic job you see the overall detail of this truck is absolutely fantastic really really is a nice looking truck I know there's a lot of guys what are waiting for the military style trucks and there they are they are here ready to go so let's go into the garage and I'll show you what options are available so we've got a couple of different engine options for it and you see we've got the more powerful one there I've just been driving around in that Cummins but we go for the turbo charge Cummins and then gearbox wise we've got two different gearboxes we've got a high range and the Allison five speed gearbox and I'll go with the high range because I was using the other one and then I think before we only had two suspensions I would think didn't think we had the rock trailing I'm sure we had stock suspension and heavy duty so now we've got the rock trailing suspension also then moving on to tire choices now what I love about the RNG workshop is all their tire choices that they bring out and you see it's not a huge amount of tires but it gives you exactly what you want so we've got five on the all-terrains three on the off-roads and then we haven't got any mud tires but to be honest, do you need mud tyres? Do we really need them? Now, those are my favourite for the chain, 55 inch. And you see you've got excellent rating on all of them. Now, when we go up to the all the other ones, you can see the rating on them all is awesome. So every one of these tyres, you're not going to have any issues with any of them. I doubt any of them you're going to go, oh, I don't like these. I reckon you'll get in whichever ones drive it and you'll be happy. Winch options. Defcore boy, where is the autonomous winch? We need autonomous winch on all trucks. Can you please add that? Otherwise, that would be perfect. It really would. And then, so that's the only winch options available, which is your standard ones. Uh, I'm not sure if they're tweaked. There probably are tweaked winches. I haven't tried them. Now, we have got spare wheel option for it there. And then diff lock, you can get your engageable diff lock for 1800. Snorkel option. The, there's a snorkel already built in so you can't take or do anything with that it is how it is now we've got the flatbed the maintainer which we got 150 on the fuel four spare wheels and 150 sorry 650 repair points my eyesight that was and then we also have the sideboard flatbed so i'm not sure how many slots that one is then because he's got the back open like that but before we didn't have that addition, so that's a nice addition to it. Love that. So let's go for the, I'll tell you what, let's go for the flatbed, that one. And we're going to put some cargo on it. Because I don't think it is a three slot. I'm pretty sure it's a two slot. Anyhow, moving on. More options wise. The exhaust can't be changed. And the bumper, we've got two different bumpers on there. You've got the one was the squad, which is where this truck actually came from originally. Let's have the heavy one. And then rims wise, we've got a few different rim choices on it. And then three different colour, four different colour combinations, just like that. Let's go with that one. I like that one. So that is all the options for the DCB USK900. So going inside before we head off anywhere, and of course it's all basic analog because it's based on an older type of vehicles but we've got working mirrors there working okay and we would do the right thing and stop at the trailer store as that's something i always used to keep forgetting but not today let's have a look so trailer options available to us and i thought that he'll have all the trailers there yes they are so you can do with what you want no scrape trailers for it but do you really need a scout trailer to be dragging around probably not yeah moving on so we've got engageable all-wheel drive which i do prefer it. engageable all wheel drive we've got the six wheel or the the four wheel and well we've got a little bit of a tank slapper going on there so we're up at michigan and i thought i was in the ucom but it loaded into the game and i thought well while we're here so let's just go and take it for a spin now like i said i did uh, 
and whoa oh shit like I said I did a video on this last week and it could have done with a little bit more power to be fair so what is that not getting come on get off there and now we seem to have a little bit more power well I have got the high range box as well on there so let's try and get down the road we'll go and put it through the mud and see how we get on if we go down to the farm as well we can see how many slots of cargo because I think it is just uh, two slot on there whoa bugger bugger hmm no autonomous hmm we need autonomous Well, I'll tell you what, I'm coming back down. I thought you're going to do exactly the same again, aren't you? You're going to end up losing it, but no. Anyway, so let's put it in through some of these ruts and let's go and check it in the, the water. We've got a nice little bit of deep water through this bit, so we can put it through its paces and see how it gets on. So we have got the switchable diff lock as well, which is a uh, one thing I like is switchable all-wheel drive and switchable diff lock. It's always nice to have the, the two. And we're not even in diff there, it's not an issue. Put it into low, yeah, no problem with that anyway. Put it back into the auto. I tend to use the auto most of the time and then only use the, the low when you need it. You can see no issues with it whatsoever, it just gets the job done not that I expected to have any problems with this whatsoever it's a top looking mod done a fantastic job and quality wise awesome I'm watching it all on 4k and probably not uploading them well, I'm not uploading in 4k at the moment I've just been uploading in 1080 oh, I thought I was going to take that tree out as 4k takes hours to actually render so what's it like through all the mud and we go across these fields now these fields are well muddy anyway and you see we just get the job done so very similar to the mvtr or the equivalent of it i've forgotten the number there's too many of them got numbers i wish they would um call them names or something it would uh, make things a lot easier but yeah going through all the mud and what have you there's no issues i do like the tailgate there jumping moving up and down as it would in real life as well like that little touch pretty cool so let's go and get some cargo and yet we're getting a little bit in the mud there but I've only got I've got the high range so yeah it is of course it's two slots it's not going to be three is it no chance just like that ah so it does just overhang a little bit which is why they it was probably made well this was made from another game so that's probably why it is like that where you just leave that back bit open and then you can fit two cargo slots so I'll tell you what let's whack it into high going up the hill and we should just power up there without any issues whatsoever and yes flying along I've got to watch it though because we haven't got autonomous and uh, I will roll it down to the fact that these tyres they are um, offering a lot of grip but this truck is another truck it's a go-getter let's just get the bloody job done and that's what it does let's put it into this mud pit just at the top here and we're in auto as well look at that just flights straight through all of that no problems whatsoever so we're taking up this windy track up here well it's quite steep up here so whoa yeah hang about it. hang about it. let's go into the low then let's go into the low get that handbrake off get that out put it into low because i haven't got the off-road gearbox whoa hang about it. slow it down let's see where we're going diff lock engaged because i'm gonna have to be quick on the winch here because we really need the autonomous I was hoping somebody would now there are a couple of winches out there actually which you can add to your trucks and it'd be nice if somebody brought that available to console where it would uh, change every truck you had 
that you could use autonomous. Now that would be awesome. That would be really cool. Because if they had autonomous, I'd be happy chap. And look at that, I just popped that up into auto just to see what he did and it's still climbing. No problem. Look at that in the open a little bit to be able to see all that suspension travel. We go right this way and then we're out of this out of this clearing hopefully. And I'm not gonna roll it again. Oh, hang on, you're going to turn to the right. Where are you going here? Come on. But pretty chuffed with this truck, and I think you're going to be very happy with it. So it seems to be we're getting quite a few truck mods which um, get the job done. And that is all you want. Just fed up with um, struggling with the vanilla trucks. And now we've got more than capable trucks. We will just work. Point it in the direction you want to go, and go there. Right, so let's try and get over this bit. See, did I get... I didn't change the suspension, did I? I didn't put the... No, I didn't. There we go, look at that. Beautiful. Top truck. Whoa. Let's get it into that high again. Let's get flying. We've got the high range box and it does fly. Whoa, just got to watch it, UK. You're going to lose it, aren't you? A little bit of power on the straight, not on the bends. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to add um, any more saddle, if a saddle high or saddle low on this one at the moment. Uh, it'd be nice if that was an option, but it's all the same. They make these mods and then the first thing you say is, are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? And you're not like, wow, thanks for that. It's awesome. You're always like, yeah, can we change this? Can you do this? Can we do that? But fair play, done a cracking job with this mod in my book. Well, yo, well, I think we will call it there for today's SnowRunner console mods. Now, I'm hoping we get a few more today, but it has been a little bit quiet at the moment. So that's why I thought, well, we'll do a video on this one because it's a... Uh, it's a nice truck anyway, and this one is available for console mods now on Xbox and PlayStation. So go and get it, it will be in your mod hub waiting for you. Thanks for watching UK Gamer 808 mod review for SnowRunner. And if you enjoyed it, why not go and have a look at my other videos? And I can't believe I've rolled it again. And sometimes I drive a little bit better than I did today. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, goodbye.